In today's video, we're playing with the classic experiment, elephant toothpaste. Guys, today we are going to be playing with elephant toothpaste. Uh, we have a couple things that we're going to test out. We have the pot perm, uh, our hydrogen peroxide, some dish soap, and then I'm gonna use water over it from the sink. Nate and Callie did this upstairs in the bathroom with a balloon, and so of course I have to take my own whack at it and see what I can get the elephant toothpaste to do. Here's the basic idea. We have the chemicals to create elephant toothpaste. We wanna to put it in a couple objects and then give it a big old flush down our TKO or toilet. So we have a little coffee pot. And so we are going to use 20 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. We have 20 milliliters of water and we are literally going to take this pot perm. So we're going to use like, not that much. We're going to like baby tap it into the cap. And it turns it this nice, beautiful purple color. I'm gonna mix this around and then we're gonna take our dish soap and we're going to add this also and we're gonna use like a baby drop. So we're gonna give this a little bit of a whirl, pour this in here. Now I want you guys to look at the volume of liquid that is in here. It is very small. We're going to add this hydrogen peroxide in there now and check this out. Just this little bit makes it go. It gets so angry. <laughs> now this one was super bubbly um, and reacted incredibly quick. I think it's because I didn't mix in all of it completely, but you know, that's okay. We could have used a little bit more water. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing today. But now we're going to put it in Mrs. Potato Head, but we're gonna tape up some of these holes that are all around and see if we can get some intense reactions to like <laughs> spew. Okay, so I have taped the back of Mrs. Potato Head. We have left um, all the attachments off, or, or well, the holes open. Um, and then she has one on the top of her head where we're gonna put the chemical in. And then that's gonna be that. I guess we'll see what happens. Let's put this tape down here just so she can sit in it. All right, so now we're gonna pour this inside Mrs. Potato Head. And now we're going to use 20 milliliters. Okay, ready? <laughs> we definitely could have poured more. I think she's got some more reacting. <laughs> so note, that was 40 milliliters extra that I just poured in. You can see the steam coming off of Mrs. Potato Head. Um, she is oozing out the back that I can see. So I feel like there's still some stuff reacting in there. Um, I feel like we gotta pull all the ears out now and everything and see if we can really get a reaction to the spews. <laughs> that was ridiculous. She's so warm, she's a baked potato now. Or a hot potato. Okay, so that was a lot slower of a reaction than I was expecting. So we have enough time to like cover it. So I'm gonna add some tape, pour, add some tape so it won't come off the top and we're gonna try to build some more pressure inside Mrs. Potato Head. All right, we're gonna pull all the limbs out and ears and eyes and nose and all the things. And we're gonna really make it go kaboom this time. We're gonna add more. So now we just have a potato and a stand <laughs> and some weird hole features. So we're doing 30, let's just do 40, might as well. We're doubling from last time. Nate is supervising. Yes. Things have gotten real serious around the channel. I'm gonna go ahead and pour the hydrogen peroxide so I can pour that go and go. Pour this in. Make sure our tape is ready. I don't want it to be stuck to me. get the tape down, but you know. <laughs> I feel like that was a great ratio. It wasn't quite explosive as I wanted it to be, but you know, that was still awesome. It was quite fun and sudsy. <laughs> that was great. So we know this works. I feel like I have to show you all what I did before, which is what landed on the ceiling. And then we're gonna see if we can take that ratio and put it in the toilet. All right, so we have one cup of water. We have a cap full of pop perm. Go mix it up. 
And now we add half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. I'm literally going to pour this and just like duck. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Look at the ceiling, it's dripping. I was more prepared. I think we were all more prepared that time, but the last time we did this, it's literally dripping from the ceiling. I think there's still a little bit of a reaction left here. Here's another little half cup of hydrogen peroxide and put the lid on it. See what happens. <laughs> Look at the steam. Look at the exothermic reaction. <laughs> This, this is awesome. So there, the purple is the unreacted substance. So we can really make it all happen again if we wanted to by pouring a little bit of hydrogen peroxide on it. But this was awesome. 10 out of 10. We gotta go put this in the toilet now that we know it works. Okay, we're out here with the decor toilet. You guys saw Nate do an Orbeez video where he flushed them down the toilet. But of course, we're going to put elephant toothpaste in here. So we're going to add the pot perm up here. We're going to flush it down. The hydrogen peroxide is going to be chilling in there. And uh, we're going to hope for the best. So I've got three gallons. I'm going to open up one of these, pour pot perm in it, make it nice and purple. And then we're going to dilute it a little bit more with the other two. All right, so this is almost full. So I'm gonna call that good. Set the rest up there. So this is a pot perm water mixture. We're just gonna dump it in over here. And now I'm gonna grab another gallon of water. We'll sprinkle a little more for fun. All right, so we got the pot perm loaded in the back. It's actually leaking into there. So I'm literally going to like dump the hydrogen peroxide and run. Here's a little bit. Okay, we're good so far. I'm gonna like give it a good pour. <laughs> I'm gonna flush in three, <laughs> two. <laughs> that was so awesome. That was so cool. It's still reacting. There's so much steam. Nate pointed it out because I was so excited I forgot the one important ingredient and that's soap because that's what makes it go But we just got like the pure reaction. As soon as I flushed, Nate was like, the soap! But this was still so cool. We have the bubbles, we have this, not as powerful, but we're still gonna be grateful and happy that it's gonna go woof. So this is hydrogen peroxide, it is 12%. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the bubbles in here. Nate's gonna pour some more water. Pour this in, flush it, and let's see what happens. Ready? It looks like it got backed up. Well, I'm out of hydrogen peroxide, which means I can't have any more fun, which means I can't make things explode anymore. But if you guys tell me you want me to see elephant toothpaste and other objects, I'd be more than happy to make that happen and get some more hydrogen peroxide. So let us know in the comments below. This was awesome. And I can't wait to flush more things down this toilet or put elephant toothpaste in a washer. I don't know, could be kind of cool. Let us know in the comments below. Hey guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure you check out our other latest videos right there. Uh, and I guess we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.